and welcome to today's session on which SOLIDWORKS package is right for me. My name is Jacob Ames. I'm the product manager for documentation tools here with Hawkridge. And over the next 60 minutes or so, we're going to be covering all the ins and outs, all the details of SOLIDWORKS standard, professional, and premium to help you decide which of these tools is going to be most effective for you. So whether you are just now looking into CAD for the very first time, if you're an existing SOLIDWORKS user who's looking to add to a pool of existing licenses or anywhere in between, we're going to be covering all the details that you need to be familiar with in order to make an informed decision. To kick things off, I want to tell you a little bit about myself again. I'm Jacob Ames. I'm the product manager for documentation tools here at Hawkridge Systems. So I focus primarily on products such as DriveWorks, DraftSite, SOLIDWORKS, MBD, and Inspection. But prior to that, I was an applications engineer with a strong focus on SOLIDWORKS CAD and simulation tools as well. I've been with Hawkridge Systems for coming up on six years now. Prior to that, I worked in the renewable energy industry, and I'm based out of Olympia, Washington. So I work with our Redmond location. I went to school locally here in Lacey, Washington at St. Martin's University, got a bachelor's in mechanical engineering there, and then spent a couple years at MIT studying aeronautics and astronautics. If I'm not running a webinar such as this, or teaching a class, or doing product demonstrations, you'll probably find me on a motorcycle if it's sunny out. If living in the Pacific Northwest, it's rainy like it usually is, you'll probably find me on the couch playing video games. So that's a little bit about me. Let's talk about our agenda. Let's get into the interesting stuff here. We're gonna start off today with an overview of all the packages that we offer, specifically SOLIDWORKS Standard, Professional, and Premium. We'll start off with a high level overview of each of these packages. Who are the target users? Who would we expect to be using these different packages? We'll also take a little bit of time for each one of these packages to do a tool and feature comparison and look at some of the individual tools that are included in these packages that really makes them important, really makes them useful and have, you know, create those outstanding differences between the levels of packages. We'll talk about add-ins and extras as well. Not only do you get new tools and features as you upgrade packages of SOLIDWORKS, but in many cases, you're also getting access to new add-ins and sometimes entirely new programs that are included at these upgraded levels. So you'll want to be familiar with those. And then as we get near the end of the session, we'll be talking about Hawkridge Systems subscription. There's a huge amount of benefit to being on subscription with Hawkridge Systems. That also includes some of those add-ins and extras, as well as things like technical support, training opportunities, the list goes on and on. So we'll talk about subscription with Hawkridge. And then finally, the reason all of you are here today, promotional pricing. If you've been contemplating purchasing SOLIDWORKS, you have picked no better time. December is our most aggressive pricing, as far as SOLIDWORKS is concerned. We'll talk about some of the end of year pricing incentives that we have available. Moving on, we like to include this slide in all of our webinars and I understand this probably looks a little bit overwhelming, especially for those of you who are new to the world of SOLIDWORKS, but this is a really important slide, all right? Today, we're gonna be focusing on SOLIDWORKS, just this one little icon right here. We'll also briefly talk about SOLIDWORKS CAM. We'll talk about PDM a bit. We'll talk about visualize a little bit but primarily just SOLIDWORKS. The point of this slide is to show you that as you start to mature with your business, as you grow from a single CAD license into other industries, other requirements, as your needs grow and evolve, as your team expands, these are all the products in the SOLIDWORKS ecosystem that allow you to grow. As you move from design into data management into simulation and manufacturing needs, there's an entire ecosystem of products that is there to support you and the Hawkridge system team is educated in all of these products. So whether you need 3D printers, 3D scanners, you need CAM software for your CNC machines that you just got, or you need data management software for your growing team. We have experts that support those products and we can help you grow. Additionally, if you are brand new to CAD, or if you're moving over from another program, maybe you're already familiar with CAD, but you're moving to SOLIDWORKS for the first time, we also offer training and services at from the very basic level if you're brand brand new to cad or if you've been using say inventor for the past 10 years and you want to get up to speed with solidworks we offer in-person and online training we offer all sorts of different professional training opportunities and services as well so if you want something simulated for example send it over to us and we'll work with you to get that done anything you need we have a solution for and a team of experts to back it up 
All right, let's move on to the interesting stuff here. We're going to talk first about SolidWorks Standard. This is our basic entry-level software. But when I say basic, I don't really mean basic. We're talking about essential tools for design, documentation, and manufacturing. But what we really mean is professional CAD for everyone. These are really well thought out, robust design and documentation tools, specifically for companies without the need for finite element analysis or simulation. Also, you probably won't need data management. You won't need automation. Those are tools that are not included at this base level package, okay? Now, that being said, SolidWorks Standard, even on its own at that very base level, is a very complete solution for a lot of our customers. And what I wanna talk about are some of the major flagship features that are most commonly used in SolidWorks Standard. We've got design features, we have documentation and evaluation features, and of course, the most common is solid modeling. Of course, any 3D CAD program is going to have solid modeling features, and SolidWorks is no different. So I have a quick example of that. This is from an old Model Mania challenge that we had at SolidWorks World a few years back. And it's a pretty good example, it has a handful of solid modeling features that are used here. And one of the really nice parts about SolidWorks, and this is true for a lot of CAD programs, so if you are familiar with some of those other programs, you're gonna feel a sense of familiarity with this. All of our solid features are sketch-based, typically, and they're parametric, so that when you make changes to things like dimensions, for example, those are actually tied to the geometry that you're updating. I can very quickly make design edits, adjust sketches and adjust features, and as I roll forward, I can incorporate those changes and establish design intent. So you can create really flexible models that can be adjusted, they can be revised, you can add and remove material, you can round off corners with fillets, all those basic commands that you would expect from a professional CAD system. Patterning features so that you don't have to repeat work all the time. And we also support configurations. So configurations, especially if you have variations of designs that are different but similar, Here's an example of a configuration where we can simply toggle between them and do a quick swap. These can be represented in assemblies, in drawings, all of which are supported even at the most basic level of SolidWorks CAD, just to give you a taste. All right, let's jump back here. We've got a few other features. I don't have examples for all of them, but I'm more than happy to take questions on these. So again, if you have questions, please let us know. For those of you more involved with organic geometry, consumer product design, or industrial design, we also have a full suite of surface modeling tools that is included in SolidWorks standard. So surfaces are supported as well. And then of course, assemblies. Most of our customers deal with assemblies in some capacity when you need to bring multiple components together, you need to show interrelated motion, you need to establish a bill of materials. All of that can be done at the standard level as well all these basic building block types of tools. Now here's where things get interesting. A lot of other CAD systems will have specialty tools like sheet metal as separate programs. That's not the case with SolidWorks. Our sheet metal tools are included at the standard level as well, and they even get their own special tab in the command manager. So you get a full set of sheet metal operations and features right at your fingertips. And this design was something that I did uh, just for fun. You'll find this on our YouTube channel. I did a couple of videos for it. And you can see a few examples here. If I go back up to my first feature, started off with a base flange, right? So you could even start off with a flat pattern like this if you want to. And then I'm just using commands like edge flanges to extend those edges into new pieces. Uh, here's an example of a customized edge flange right, you can sketch out your own bends, you can create cuts, there's corner treatment that's available, patterns are supported as well. So this fill pattern up here that I use to create this vent, you can see that. Lots of specialized features specifically for sheet metal. You can standardize your available material thickness and bend radius using gauge tables and bend tables, everything that you would need in order to create and produce sheet metal designs. And of course, what good is a sheet metal system without the ability to flatten and create a flat pattern from your sheet metal designs with a single click of a button here, I've got access to a flat pattern. And even beyond that, let's say you wanted to manufacture this, in just a couple clicks, I'm able to produce a one-to-one -one scale DXF from this. So I can simply export the geometry to a DXF file, send that out to my laser cutter, my water jet, whatever equipment you're using, and you have that ready to go. 
or you could even you know move this into draft site for example if you wanted to make some edits in 2d so really robust set of sheet metal tools and i know a lot of you who are working with sheet metal will really really appreciate that a lot better than having to design everything as a flat pattern and hoping that it's correct all right our next piece here let's talk about weldments weldments is another subset of commands these are structural members that typically have constant cross sections this is usually going to be things like extruded metal so think i-beams angle iron square tube round tube right for building frames roll cages structural type designs this can also be used with lumber essentially anything that uses long members with constant cross sections and these tools are available as well you can customize profiles you can create cut lists much like with sheet metal to detail the length of each structural member and we do support curved structural members as well so lots of really great capability there if we have anybody in the room who's interested in mold design our mold design tools are semi-automated tools that can help you develop the surfaces required for core and cavity we have specialized tools for creating side cores lifters core pins parting surfaces and parting lines shut off surfaces everything that you would need to accurately create that mold tooling and then file import right a lot of times we're not even starting from scratch you may have an existing file that you, you're receiving from a customer from a vendor and you just need to customize it or make some design changes to it so solidworks does support import of a number of different file types whether you're coming from inventor or creo right we can import those file types we can also import all the major neutral file formats parasolid igis step files all of those are supported we can even import dxf and dwg files in 2d and use those as sketches to help develop 3d models so lots of file import capabilities the one restriction at this level is katia and we'll be talking about that later if you're a katia user or you need to import katia files you will need solidworks premium and then finally solidworks cam now i love solidworks cam you'll notice that there is an asterisk next to this and of course that means that there's some fine print but this is included in solidworks standard if you're on subscription with hawkridge systems once we talk about subscription with Hawkridge, you're gonna realize there's no reason not to be. So everybody here will of course have access to SolidWorks CAM. This is a two and a half axis solution that can help you program your features and develop G code for manufacturing. So we do have other programs associated with this. This is our first add-in we're looking at. Uh, this is based off the CAMWorks engine. So if you have three axis requirements, if you have turning requirements, there's other paid add-ins, but again, this is included at the standard level so long as you're on subscription with us. What this does is it actually uses automatic feature recognition to look at these pockets, these holes, these different elements of the design, and it will extract those machinable features and give you a list. You can then generate an operation tool plan. And what this will do, you'll notice it has actually listed all of these features out. When I generate the operation plan, it's going to look at what's called the technology database or the tech DB. This is customizable and it offers a set of strategies again that you can customize to select different tools that would be required for the manufacturing of these different features so you'll notice after i generate the operation plan it's actually selecting different tools drills end bits countersinks right and these are all listed here i can then take this a step further and generate the tool path at which point i'll be able to see how the tools will be moving and i can even go so far as to simulate this tool path and then ultimately send that out for post-processing. So you could actually see what the tools are going to do, how they're going to move. And the color coding here will actually compare this to the original CAD model to see how that compares and make sure you're actually going to get decent results. So again, this is included at the standard level as well, provided you're on subscription. And it's really, really useful for those of you who uh, prefer to use two and, a half, two and a half axis software. Again, if you do have more advanced needs, those tools are available as well. All right, and this is an add-in, so it's very easy to turn those on and off. I can simply disable SolidWorks Cam if I'm not interested in using it, and I don't have to worry about it. All right, that's gonna take us over to the documentation side of things. Document templates are supported as well. Now, this is something that you would expect in 2021 and 2022. Any good CAD system is going to have document templates, but just a reminder that that does exist here. 
rather than having to select system options and document properties every time you go into a new part or a new assembly or a new drawing, you can set things like title blocks, like paper sizes, like units and tolerances and line styles and layers. All of those can be set into templates. They can be saved. This is also true for bills of materials and other table types, and it makes working a lot more efficient and a lot more simple. You can also share those templates with other users if you're working in a team, and this is especially helpful for drawings. Now, drawings in SOLIDWORKS, this is a topic that we, our customers really, really appreciate. Drawings are very simple in SOLIDWORKS. You can actually reuse dimensions and other annotations that were created at the solid level in the 3D model using a command called model items, and you can import those into the drawings so you don't actually have to recreate every single dimension in order to produce those drawings. So really, really robust set of tools. Again, all of those tools available right at the standard level. We also include basic animation tools for your assemblies so you can see components moving around. You can save those animations as videos if you wanna share them with people. And you can export to any number of formats. Just like you can import, you can export to DXF, other neutral file formats if you need to so that you can share your information and collaborate with other users who may or may not have SOLIDWORKS. We also have a number of evaluation tools that are included to help make sure that your designs are actually going to function properly. Interference detection for your assemblies and collision detection to make sure that components aren't intersecting one another. You can check range of motion. You can do a geometry analysis to check for proper curvature, for proper, proper draft analysis for like your molded designs, for example. Make sure you're adhering to those design rules that you've set forth. And then performance analysis tools. Even if you have a, an assembly with 10,000 components that things start to run a little bit slow, you can run that performance analysis tool to get some troubleshooting tips and help you get back up to speed. And then finally, express tools. I love to bring these up because these express tools are available in the standard package. And what they essentially are are lightweight versions of even more effective tools. So these are add-ins that you can use if you would like. Standard comes with DriveWorks Express, it comes with DFM Express, it comes with Flow Express, and Simulation Express, again, all included. Now, DriveWorks Express is the light version of, there's several other tiers of DriveWorks, but it allows you to create variations of completed parts and assemblies very quickly. DFM Express allows you to analyze geometry for manufacturability and make sure that things can actually be produced Flow Express is a CFD analysis tool, so computational fluid dynamics, specifically for water and air. So there's not as many goals, there's not as many fluid types that are supported. Our actual full flow program that you can purchase will allow you to do heat transfer and all sorts of really impressive analyses. And then same thing for Simulation Express. This is the light version of the actual simulation add-in for finite element analysis. So if your team or you as an individual need to do strength testing of parts, this in some cases can actually help you get there. It's a first pass analysis though. So it only does static analysis, meaning there's no impact, there's no large deformation, there's no time dependency, and it only works for single body parts. So you can't include assemblies in this but it can still give you a decent idea of how your design iterations are affecting strength characteristics and things. So really, really helpful tools. And it also gives you an idea of what to expect and what's possible with some of those higher end versions of these express tools. And remember, if you're already getting overwhelmed at this point, that's what Hawkridge Systems is here to do. If you need any information on any of these features, any of these tools, any of these packages, you can always reach out to us that's what we're here to do, is make sure that you are well-informed and up-to-date. All right, so this is SolidWorks standard. SolidWorks Professional is really built around the idea of productivity tools. These are libraries to automate uh, tools to, re uh, to automate repetitive tasks, help you collaborate, and specifically to manage data. So this is about collaboration and efficiency. Now, I've kind of branded this as companies with higher design volume, stricter design or data management requirements like the medical device industry, for example, really gets a lot of use out of SolidWorks Professional. Uh, and there's a reason that SolidWorks Professional is our most popular CAD license type. It's more popular than SolidWorks Standard. Now, even individuals can use SolidWorks Professional. You're certainly gonna see why here in just a moment, but I will warn you specifically, 
there is no sort of extra analysis tools that are built into this and there's no pipe or wire routing those are specialty tools that are included at the premium level which we'll be getting here uh, getting to here in a moment but SolarWorks Professional is all about collaboration and efficiency. And the, one of the, the absolute major features in SolarWorks Professional is PDM standard. And that functions as product data management. That's what PDM stands for. Now, typically this is geared toward teams of one to five or six. So even if you're an individual, you can take advantage of PDM. And also keep in mind that SolarWorks Professional gets every single feature, tool, add-in, you name it, in SolidWorks standard. So you're not losing anything by looking at SolidWorks Professional. Now, PDM standard is something that I, as a self-taught user originally, uh, I looked at PDM, I said, I'm an individual user. I don't need this. I don't wanna deal with it, You know, too much to think about. It's built for data management and also revision control. This is a check-in, check-out system for your CAD data and also for supporting documentation. And it has rollback capability. And that's a really big piece here. Now, like I said, for the medical device industry, there are a lot of companies that require some sort of revision control like this to meet their proper standards. But even just this rollback capability is really big for me because I know that there's been times where I've made changes to a part or an assembly and then saved it and then realized, oh, I didn't mean to make those changes. Now I don't have a backup file what do I do? And now I'm stuck with this file that I, where I have to rework it to try to get back to where I was. All of that can be solved using a program like PDM standard. So it's built right into the user interface of SolidWorks as well. That can make things really simple. It helps you avoid issues with renamed and deleted files, especially if you have coworkers who, you know, maybe aren't paying that much attention. If you run into that, conflicting copies, redundant data, that type of thing, nobody knows which version is the right version or which name is the right name. This is where PDM standard can, can really assist. Again, it's integrated into SolarWorks and into other products as well. So you get used to that user interface, really easy to take advantage of. And there is a professional version as well. This is good for larger team sizes vault replication if you have like a west coast and an east coast team and you want to make sure that you're looking at the same files and it can also help you automate tasks and do a bunch of other really good stuff but that's pdm standard again that's included at the professional level and that's arguably the number one reason that people look to SolidWorks professional if that's not the number one reason then toolbox definitely is this is a cad library of reusable, reusable fasteners. And I know for me, this is absolutely the reason for getting SolidWorks Professional. I wanna show an example of this. So imagine a scenario, you've got a plate like this. I've got a whole bunch of holes here. Some of them are through holes, some of them are not. What do you do if you want a fastener for this hole, right? Well, you come over to McMaster Car, you bring up the website, you go look through the library. Here's your screws and bolts try to figure out what you want. All right, we need a hex head screw. We got to look through our grades and pick which one we want. We got to find our size and have to go back to SolidWorks and measure it, right? Make sure I get the right length. You can download SolidWorks models directly from McMaster car, which is pretty cool, but I got to download it. All right, wait for that and we'll open it. Give that a second to load. And then when it comes in, you'll notice that it has a bunch of detail, these helical threads. We don't need to see those. That's just gonna slow things down. So I gotta suppress those. Easy enough to do, but you would then have to do this for each individual instance for all of those holes. So then I need to drop this in. Okay, there's that. And then I'd have to mate it up. So this is an assembly. You could use mates like concentric and coincident and get this into place. So it's kind of a long process and we'd have to repeat that for each one of these holes, okay? So this is kind of your baseline if you don't have SolidWorks Professional, you are modeling or downloading all of these fasteners. With SolidWorks Professional, you get access to the toolbox library. This toolbox library has literally over a million different configurations of fasteners so that I can just pick the standard that I'm using. I can choose the type of fastener that I want just like I was doing over at McMaster, but notice there's only one, you know, there's a hex bolt in here. When I drag this and drop it, it automatically recognizes the size of my geometry. And not only that, it also snaps it into place with those mates. 
So there it is. You're done. That's it. Now, if it couldn't get any easier than that, and I do want to just prove a point here, if I go to my larger size, snap that into place, that's going to give me the bigger version. The reason this works is because when you define holes in SolidWorks, you're, you actually do so by telling the system what fastener would go in that hole. That's how that feature works. So it's very, very easy to do this. But it gets even easier than that. When you have SolidWorks Professional, you get access to this command for assemblies called smart fasteners. Uh, and when you use smart fasteners, you can choose entire faces or entire parts. And I can click the add button. My hands are off the mouse right now, just to prove a point. What that's going to do is it's going to look at each one of those individual holes. It's going to go, okay, what type of fastener would go into this hole? It's going to automatically populate all of these, and it's going to properly size them as well. So you can see there in the front right corner, we've got a socket head cap screw because that's a regular regular hole. And then as we get to the countersinks, it's using the countersunk right machine screws and then the hex heads. And that's it. If I ever want to edit these, I can very easily do so just by right-clicking those features in the design tree. And another thing that I want to point out here is notice this. Remember how our right-hand column was a shorter set of holes? They, they weren't actually through holes. Notice how it automatically changes the depth. Okay, so it recognizes that. And then one other thing that I want to point out here, if we take, let's see, Smart Fastener 1 and I edit this, I can actually add other toolbox components to the top of the bottom stack just by selecting them from a dropdown. So if I want a hex nut here, I just add it in. It'll add in the component from the toolbox and it will also increase the length of that fastener to accommodate the new fastener and it will update that. So notice the new size. So all of these automated tools, this is what we're talking about when we talk about efficiency and we talk about optimization and collaboration. You can share a single toolbox with the rest of your team. So you're all using the same fasteners, keeping things simple, making sure everybody's on the same page. So if not PDM, then toolbox is definitely a really good reason to consider SolidWorks Professional. Beyond that, we have some other really cool stuff. The task scheduler, and I could actually bring this up. This is a separate program that you get with SolidWorks Professional. Technically, you get it with standard, but it doesn't have all the different processes. Uh, this will automate, much like the Windows task scheduler, lots of really boring stuff that you don't want to do. So when it comes time to upgrade or convert files from, say, 2020 to 2021 because you upgraded, there's a process for that. You just say what folders you want to update, it'll do that. It'll export files. If you want to take a folder of a thousand part files and turn them into step files, you can do that as well. You can create drawings automatically. You can create your own custom tasks. You can check your designs, all of these fun things. And again, it's automated. You can even set these to happen weekly or monthly during off hours. I've used this way more than I ever thought that I would, and I found it to be exceptionally helpful. So that's the task scheduler. And then we have visualized standard. And this is hands down as far as an entertaining product to work with. This is my very favorite. Visualized standard is built for realistic photo rendering. Now I have a page for this as well. These are a couple of my own personal renders that I've done. And for those of you who do work in, uh, in photo rendering, I apologize. These actually aren't even very good. I didn't spend a lot of time in Visualize producing these. These were just quick. I'm trying to get some examples out. And these will create photorealistic images directly from your CAD data. So instead of spending however many thousands of dollars on a DSLR camera and lighting and all that good stuff, you get Visualize Standard and you can import your models to visualize and create images like these, or in your case, even better. So you don't have to manufacture, you don't have to prototype. These are awesome for marketing, for product catalogs, even for iterating during the initial design phases. If you wanna talk with your team and say, you know, do we like the look of this one versus this one? You can do that with Visualize Standard. So that's really, and it's just a fun program. Now, one detail with this is that it's a standalone program with a separate license. And normally, we love our add-ins for SolidWorks. But in the case of Visualize, the fact that it comes with a separate license is actually really cool because you, let's say you're working in a team of two or three, one of you could be working on the CAD data, one of you could be doing a photo rendering. You do, you're not consuming a SolidWorks license while you're using Visualize. And you're not held back by typical CAD constraints either. So you can push and pull objects and move things around. Um, it's a very easy program to use. 
Additionally, you'll notice, again, visualize standard. So there is a professional version that unlocks animation, a physics engine, several other productivity tools, area lights, VR content, interactive images, really, really cool stuff. And we do have a training class on this whole program as well as everything SolidWorks. So really fun. Again, you'll notice the asterisk on that name. So this is with subscription. You have to be on a Hawkridge system subscription and purchasing a SolidWorks professional license, but then you'll have access to Visual Life Standard and you can do some really cool stuff with it. There's also a costing add-in for cost estimation and quoting. Now, a lot of people think that this is a magic wand. It is based off of templates, but we have customers that are using the costing add-in. They'll fill out their templates with estimated costs and empirical data. And then that can be used with their information inside the template to very quickly estimate manufacturing costs for different designs and also for providing quotes to customers. That's included at the professional level. We also have eDrawings Professional. This is a really great tool for collaboration with non-SolidWorks users. So if you have a customer or you have a vendor that needs to see your data, but they don't have SolidWorks, now they don't have any excuses. You can create an eDrawings document and the viewer for eDrawings documents are free. So they can use them on any platform. You could even use the viewer on a Mac, on a cell phone, on a tablet, and you can open up that eDrawings file, which will represent your drawing or your part or your assembly. You can spin the designs around. You can even take measurements if you allow that. So you actually have control over who can do what with your documents, but it's a communication tool to enable you to, to collaborate with a greater number of people. And then Tall Analyst, another one of my favorite add-ins to analyze tolerance stack up for assemblies. It's especially helpful there when you start looking at worst case scenarios for manufacturing and tolerances. Let's say everything that's being manufactured is manufactured poorly on the, on the bad side of the tolerance that you have set up. How does that stack up? Does it still function? And that gives you a tremendous amount of information that can inform your manufacturing and your tolerancing to help you build better products. And then finally here, scan to 3D. If we have any scanners or people who use scanners in the room, this is commonly used with reverse engineering processes using 3D scan data. So you use a 3D scanner, you bring in the point cloud or the mesh file into SolidWorks using scan to 3D and it can help you reverse engineer surface models out of those. There's some other products that we offer too. Uh, if you find that you like scan to 3D, but you want to do even more, we also offer GeoMagic. So there's some even more advanced capabilities that are available here. So again, to kind of wrap this up with a nice little bow, SolidWorks Professional gives you extra collaboration tools, extra productivity tools, and some really cool stuff like Visualize Standard just to make basically everything that you do that much easier. If you're regularly doing uh, finite element analysis, for example, you probably have some other program unless you're already a SolidWorks user. Now, the reason that I bring this up is because SolidWorks Premium the, one of the main driving reasons that our users will purchase premium is for the simulation add-in. There's specialty tools included at the premium level for strength and for motion analysis, and also for pipe and electrical routing. Those are the two major pieces. We also offer an add-in for flattening surfaces and importing CATIA files. Sometimes those are drivers as well, but really the major focus is on that strength analysis, motion analysis, and the routing tools. But this is really the Cadillac as far as SOLIDWORKS packages for CAD are concerned. This is your ultimate design capability. So if you have those needs, if you need finite element analysis, if you need electrical or pipe or tube routing, if you have organic flat uh, the surfaces that you need to flatten, or if you need to import CATIA files, then SOLIDWORKS Premium is for you. So this is our most advanced CAD package. We're gonna be showing a couple examples here, but I wanna start off by talking about simulation. Again, just like professional premium includes everything from the other levels, and then we add on to that. So our simulation add-in for premium gives you static FEA for assemblies. So you can strength test on full assemblies now. Now, this is actually slightly different than the paid add-in. If you purchase a license of simulation standard, your capabilities are going to be similar, but slightly different. In any case, when you purchase SolidWorks CAD Premium, you get a lot of analysis capability. And so I wanna show you a very quick setup with that. We've got a, an assembly here. All of our components have been assigned materials and we can click on new study. We've got a lot of different options here. If you only have SolidWorks CAD, 
you're only going to have this static option. As you purchase simulation add-ins, you unlock these other study types. But we would start a static study. Make sure all of your materials are set up, and then you can apply fixtures and loading conditions. So we can set up, and we're just going to keep this simple. But you can make, you know, we want to make sure that you're using smart assumptions here. But you can set up fixtures, you can set up loads. And then ultimately, what we're going to get is a mesh. So we're going to break this down into tetrahedrons and actually look at the displacement and the stress associated with each of these components. And I just want to show a quick example of setup here. So if you're already using an FEA tool, it's probably going to look pretty familiar. All right, so we'll input a load value here. And then we can create a mesh from this. There's lots of different mesh options. You can use curvature based. You have the ability to change the, you know, the definition. And ultimately, after you've done that, and I'll just flip to some of our results here, you'll be presented with a color chart of stress or displacement or factor of safety, whatever you need to see. And we have some of the fastest solvers in the industry. So it doesn't take any sort of supercomputer to do this. And it will inform you about the characteristics of your model to make sure that it's actually going to withstand real world loading conditions. Here's an example of factor, factor of safety. So in my opinion, honestly, unless you are designing something that exists in a vacuum that nobody's going to use, everybody should really be using simulation tools. And I only say that because if nothing else, you can use this as an iterative process to determine if your designs are better or worse than the previous revision. And what's really nice about this is as an add-in, I can always go back to the model at any time. I can make design changes and then I could rerun the study and see how that actually impacts my designs. Now, I wish we could spend more time on this, but we do have some other goodies that I want to take a look at. The last thing I wanted to mention here is for those of you who do simulation, but rarely, I just wanted to remind you that Hawkridge Systems also offers simulation services. So if you're not interested in getting a full license of simulation, or if it's not worth getting SOLIDWORKS Premium for the simulation capability, we can still help you with simulation if you don't want to maintain any dedicated tools. We have a team of simulation experts that can help you analyze and actually evaluate your models. All right, next piece is routing. What is routing? This allows you to route pipes and tubes as well as electrical, so wires, cables, harnesses, etc., in 3D during your design. Now, oftentimes, this is the driving reason that people prefer premium because routing isn't available as its own separate add-in. It's only available inside of SOLIDWORKS Premium. So here we have an example from the oil and gas industry where we have uh, we actually have both pipes and uh, tubes and electrical in this example, but I'll just show a quick example of piping. Here you can see some pipe spools, there's flanges, there's pumps, and there's the pipes themselves. Uh, routing is an add-in, so I do need to turn that on real quick. So we'll get that going. And once that's loaded up, you'll see a few additional tabs appear on the command manager. And what this does is it allows you to just simply create sketch entities and the pipes will follow them. It'll track the length of the pipes. It'll allow you to add in components. So I have a piping tab here and I could even open. So for example, this route here, if I'd like to open that up as its own sub assembly, I can do that. And these routing tools allow, to be, allow me to add fittings, add components, whatever I need to do. I could simply edit this route. If I wanted to add some more pipes here, for example, I could split this route so I could give it a point for a component to attach to. There's a whole library of components that I can use here, kind of similar to the way that we were using the toolbox. So I go to piping, I've got some crosses, and just drag and drop this in. And what you'll notice here is when I drop it, select a configuration, it'll actually split the pipe and it will add additional pipe segments at the connecting points. So now when I exit my editing window, we actually have separate components and I can move those around. I have lots of design flexibility and this, trust me, is significantly easier than trying to sweep all of these routes and track all of these components on your own. So really advanced tools. The same uh, idea is true for the electrical side of routing, as well as for tubing. And then the last thing here that I always like to show are drawings, okay? 
We talked about drawings all the way back in SOLIDWORKS standard, but they also apply to routes as well. And this will give me a good chance to show off some of the drawing capabilities too. When you go into the drawing environment, you're presented with all your orthographic views as well as the isometric variants. You can just drag and drop those directly from the window. You don't have to spend a bunch of time creating these from scratch. You can very quickly change the scale if you have a custom scale that you want to use, or you can match the sheet scale. So you can set these up with templates as well very quickly. You can project views. We'll go ahead and skip that one. Make this a little bit larger so we can see it. Okay, and then I can build a table for the bill of materials. Now this works just the same way as it does for regular assemblies. When I use a top level bill of materials, I can either group all the pipes and tubes together or I can keep them separate. If I group them together, you'll notice that in quantity rather than a number or an actual quantity, it's giving me a total length. So it's telling me how much material I would actually need to procure. Yeah, I have options here though. If I wanna change this, I can certainly do that as well. If I disable that, it'll give me each of the individual segments and you can always customize these bills of materials. So if I'd like, I could then go a step further. I could insert a column and represent a route property here. All sorts of different properties are available. We could do a pipe length, and this is now giving me the individual lengths of each of those pipe segments, which is gonna be really, really helpful when I go to manufacture this. Finally, I can auto balloon this to tie all the individual components of this subassembly for the route to the bill of materials. Now I can simply look at the drawing view, look at the bill of materials, see how long the length is, what the schedule is, what size it is, we're good to go. So this is the routing capability. Again, these are specialized tools for pipes, tubes, and electrical as well that are available in SOLIDWORKS Premium. So simulation and routing. All right, and then a couple other things here for SOLIDWORKS Premium, we have advanced flattening. So rather than just being limited to sheet metal, you now have flattening capability for any surface, any organic surface, um, even your nerves surfaces, the non-uniform rational B-spline, super organic complex stuff, those can be flattened as well. Time-based motion is available for SOLIDWORKS Premium. So it's kind of like animation capability, but it also comes with forces. And a lot of people will use this for sizing motors and things of that nature. So it gives you a more realistic understanding of the movement and interactions of your components in an assembly. And then finally, CATIA import. If you work with or collaborate with CATIA users and you need to import CATIA files, you will need SOLIDWORKS Premium in order to do that. But that is SOLIDWORKS Premium with a nice little bow on top. So again, that is our highest level of CAD software that we offer. All of these different packages build off of each other. Even at the standard level, you're getting a huge amount of capability, but it only gets better from there. And as a reminder, you can mix and match these license types. It's rather rare that we see a large company with 20 seats of SOLIDWORKS where all of them are premium. Rather, you would have one or two licenses of premium, 10 or 12 licenses of professional, that tends to be the most common, and then a handful of licenses of standard, right? So you can mix and match. If you do have a team of five or six individuals, you don't have to have all the same license type. So you can mix and match whatever your needs may require. All right, now let's talk about Hawkridge Systems subscription. We've gotten, we've talked about all the different CAD capabilities, but how can we continue to make this experience better for you? A subscription with Hawkridge Systems has a huge number of benefits, and we have two different plans to choose from. We have Essential and Elite. So just like SOLIDWORKS CAD, we have different tiers you can choose from. Our Essential Success Plan comes with a dedicated technical support team. That's what Hawkridge Systems does. Now, we love to talk about how great SOLIDWORKS is, but just like any computer program, occasionally you run into issues, right? You run into a problem, things aren't working properly, you're running into crashes, that type of thing. We have experts for every single individual product. Remember that first, one of those first slides I showed with all those products? We have experts in every single one of those. So you call us up, you send us an email, however you prefer to communicate, we have somebody on the case. And that's true regardless of, you know, whether you get essential or elite, you'll have technical support with us. That's a huge part of what we do here at Hawkridge. 
You'll also have access to Solid Professor for each uh, subscription. We've re recently partnered with Solid Professor, which is a uh, an educational service that I actually use before getting on board with Hawkridge Systems, and it's self-paced video learning. One of my favorite aspects of Solid Professor is update training. So if you're an existing SolidWorks user and you're getting ready to you know, move on to SolidWorks 2022, which is just now coming out, uh, you can run through their update training and see what's new in the software, but it also offers training courses for brand new users. So you, for each subscription you have, you'll get a license uh, or access rather to Solid Professor. You also get SolidWorks Cam and SolidWorks Visualize. We talked about both of those. Those are benefits of the subscription, but again, for Visualize specifically, you do have to have SolidWorks Professional in addition to the subscription. SolidWorks Cam comes with subscription regardless of what level you have. And then also regular product updates and annual upgrades. SolidWorks 2022 is out right now. So if you were to purchase and have subscription, you would be entitled all the way up to 2023. So you would get that first release of SolidWorks 2023 and all the service pack updates in between. So that's the essential success plan. We also offer an elite success plan, which takes it even further. Everything in essential, plus you get a site license for Solid Professor. So if you have a larger team, you get three times the number of logins. So you can actually get more people, even if they're not SolidWorks users, because uh, Solid Professor actually has programs for programs other than SOLIDWORKS as well. So you can learn about all sorts of stuff, GD&T, those types of things. You're entitled to an annual Ask an Expert session. So you can sit down with someone like me for an hour or two and just ask your questions. If you have a particular problem you're facing, you can come to us directly. We'll sit down with you, see what you're doing, give you advice, see if we can help you solve your problems. A $500 live training credit in person or online and a 20% discount on all of our services. That might be implementation, that might be simulation, you name it, 20% discount. And this is not an exhaustive list, guys. So if you're interested in these subscriptions, the handouts that we provided with all these slides actually have links to our subscription page so you can see what all is included. You can see like 3D service printing vouchers, all of that good stuff. There's a lot of other items that are included there as well. And this gives you kind of a picture right? Everything that's included in Essential, your tech support, your extra products, your updates, some certification vouchers and prep. And then with the Elite version, you get those training credits, discounts, ask an expert, and more from Solid Professor. Everybody loves saving money, right? That's why you're here. You picked the best possible time of the year to consider SolidWorks. We have really aggressive promotions in December. This is when SolidWorks gets desperate. They say, please, please, we need more money. And so you are in a really, really powerful position to be considering purchasing SolidWorks. We have up to 30% off all of our SolidWorks CAD licenses. And specifically, every time we say this, everybody goes, oh, well, 30%, you know, what's the, what's the actual lowest cost that we can walk out the door with something? 27.50, that's what you're looking at. So this specifically, I wanna be very clear here, this 27.50 that you see here on the screen is for a one-year term license of SolidWorks standard. Now this does include cloud data management, which is pretty cool, but when we say a term license, that means that once that one year is up, SolidWorks is, is gone. You don't have it anymore. Okay, so that's our term or, or lease licensing structure. That's 2750. That's a rock bottom lowest possible cost for SolidWorks right now. However, if you want to own it forever, and this is what a lot of our users like to do, you buy it once, you own it forever, no restrictions, that starts at 4,600 right now. So out the door with SolidWorks standard, you own it forever, $4,600. Now, these are our rock bottom prices, like as low as we can go. You're still gonna get huge discounts off of SolidWorks Professional, off of SolidWorks Premium. There's also bundles that are, are regional. So depending on where you're coming from, you might be able to get, say SolidWorks Professional with Simulation Standard or SolidWorks Premium CAD with a uh, simulation professional, for example, and there's there's larger discounts on things like that. So if you're interested, get a hold of us. Ask your representative if you have one, call us. You can get a hold of us and we'll be more than happy to talk to you about the different promos that we have. We're always trying to save you as much money as possible. Again, all these offers are gonna expire, expire after December 31st of this year. So do keep that in mind. It's kind of time sensitive right now. 
But again, if you were already considering a purchase, this is a really, really good time for that. Okay, now before we start wrapping up here, uh, and we'll be doing a quick recap here in a moment, I want to talk quickly about 3D Experience because some of you may have heard about 3D Experience, and maybe not know what it is. You are not alone. Uh, 3D Experience is a relatively new product from Dassault System, and this is a cloud-based platform for storing and sharing and collaborating with your engineering data with for you and the rest of your team. So think, I, and I don't want to misspeak here, but there are data management tools included with this. So you can upload your solid models to the cloud, essentially, share them with your team members, and it gives you basic revision control through a web browser, kind of like PDM would, okay? And the reason I bring this up is because any license of SolidWorks, regardless of what tier you get, standard, pro, premium, can be connected to this platform if you're interested in using it. And there's a lot of other 3D experience products that may be worth investigating, depending on what industry you're in and what sort of stage of business operations you're in. All right, now this does require a purchase of a connector. So something to keep in mind, but if you're interested in the 3D experience tools, be sure to reach out and we can get you some more information on those. But I do always like to bring this up because you're gonna start hearing more and more about 3D experience. And these are essentially the tools of the future as far as SolidWorks is concerned. So do keep that in mind. To recap, SolidWorks standard gives you parts, assemblies, drawings, and everything else here in this left-hand column. You get those express tools, you get importing files, you get all sorts of great utilities and evaluation tools. Moving on to SolidWorks Professional, you get document management in the form of SolidWorks PDM standard, so you don't have to worry about conflicting file names or losing track of revisions. You don't have to worry about that guy on your team who always likes to delete stuff and add numbers to part numbers. You get the toolbox add-in for very quick addition of hardware, right? All those nuts, bolts, whatever you need. You're not digging through the library at McMaster car over there. Photo rendering software in the form of visualized standard for realistic images based off of your CAD models and the task scheduler for automating the boring stuff. You don't have to create draw, well, you still will have to create drawings, but you can automate the process of creating those drawings. Um, you can automate the upgrade of files, the export of files, all sorts of other great stuff. And then finally, SolidWorks Premium, you're getting static simulation for finite element analysis on assemblies. You're getting routing capabilities with poor pipe tube and electrical and everything else in this column. All right, so SolidWorks Standard gives you those basic tools. That's your entry-level software. We talked about collaboration and efficiency and productivity tools in SolidWorks Professional. In premium, that's our ultimate set of design software for the motion analysis and uh, simulation and routing of pipe tube and electrical. SolidWorks subscription gives you technical support, gives you product updates, gives you access to free training opportunities along with that subscription. It also provides access to SolidWorks Cam and SolidWorks Visualize. And finally, a reminder on those promo prices, we're talking about up to 30% off of CAD licenses right now with your term licenses starting at $2,750 and your perpetual starting under $4,600. It does not get better than this, okay? Real quick, as a last piece here, I recommend you start learning today. If you want to learn more, check out the Hawkridge Systems blog and our YouTube channel. We're constantly uploading new content, free tips, free tricks, full-length webinars like this one. This is gonna end up being hosted there. So check those out. There's a lot more like this. Engage with the SolidWorks community. There's a whole community, thousands and thousands of members that are very, very helpful. Check out the SolidWorks help file for full documentation of all those capabilities of the features and tools. It's a very extensive help file that I've certainly found very useful. And remember to reach out to us. We always wanna help our customers. That's what we're here for. That's why we exist, both our current customers and our future customers, okay? Now, we do have a little bit of time for Q&A. I know some of you probably got to get going. So for those of you who will be taken off, I just want to wish everybody a happy holidays. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for attending today. I do want to remind everybody real quick that when you leave the webinar, you're going to get that one question survey. That's for you. It is optional, of course. But if you have questions or thoughts, let us know. If you have a topic you'd like some more information on, let us know in that survey and we'll get you a video or some sort of learning resource to give you some more information. We'd love to hear your questions. If you have any, remember those handouts for today's slides. 
and the CAD Buyer's Guide are available to download from that GoToWebinar user interface. So thank you all so much. Please let me know if you have any questions. We'll be happy to answer them. I hope you enjoyed the session and we look forward to doing business with you.